In this post, we'll continue to explore materials as the primary cause of piercing migration. Is titanium jewelry as safe for your navel piercing as you're led to believe? If you are not aware, irrespective of the material of your navel jewelry, whether titanium or solid gold, think of the jewelry as a foreign object your body wants to remove, meaning it wants to push it to the surface and while it often gives up, you should know that its natural response will always be the same. Migration can happen at any point and most times you don't even know what's happening. So is titanium safe? The answer to this question is not as straightforward as you might think. There are many grades or designations of titanium and most are unverified. This simply means that you should pay closer attention. Let me see this a different way. Just because a belly ring is marketed as titanium doesn't make it safe. Unless the jewelry manufacturer can prove the grade and the safety of their jewelry, you must assume the jewelry is not safe. What is the alternative? You wear jewelry hoping it doesn't get infected. Think about this for a minute. Did anyone that ever got infected purchase jewelry that was marketed as having some sort of risk? Come on, they were told it was great or even worse, they didn't look. You know why? Because you're distracted. You're buying into a story you're told you should buy collections of the very jewelry that's damaging your piercing. Look at the styles and shapes. They're large and bulky. They stick out and push into your piercing and they defy even the most basic principles of navel piercing care. And you should know, some of this is explained by how incredibly difficult titanium is to work with. It's not easy to create refined jewelry out of titanium. Some may argue that today's technology enables craftsmen to pull off exquisite designs out of titanium. Yes, but we're talking about jewelry that's under $50 here. And we're talking about manufacturers whose focus is on volume. That's how they make a profit. Have you seen what some of those exquisite pieces cost? Forget the big brands that could be in the thousands. But this isn't even the point. There is inexpensive jewelry out of titanium, but you need to pay very close attention to what you're buying. This entire series is about migration. The sheer volume of piercings that end up migrating is staggering, and no one's talking about it. One in two experience some issues with their piercing, that is 50%, and you're still chasing cheap. Oh, and who cares when it breaks because it's cheap? The jewelry should fit you right, the material of your jewelry shouldn't cause you any allergic reaction, and it shouldn't hurt you either. And if you missed it, don't trust anyone until they've convinced you in some way they have your best interest at heart. I'm going to rule out reputable piercing studios, they care. But they too can be blindsided. A bit of paperwork like a mill certificate goes a long way. Did you know G23 titanium means nothing? Need I mention material inconsistencies and contamination? If you're dealing with a reseller, what's their process to ensure that they deliver that implant grade titanium that meets all the ASTM specifications or equivalent? But are they just telling you what their vendor told them? We'll get a bit more technical later, we're just warming up. And if I'm not making friends in the industry, no worries. This is all meant to serve you the customer. And if you're that jeweler or reseller out there and you're getting a little bit uncomfortable, here's something you can do. How about you start caring? And for you, the customer, who this is really intended for, follow along and let me know your thoughts on this. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you understand what I mean by bulky jewelry that scratches your navel, catches onto things, and pushes into your piercing, weighing a ton? Make sure to follow my YouTube channel and watch my YouTube videos.